Hey guys, I'm Ray from the Great Falls Public Library. Welcome back for another story time. This time, if you have them, can you go grab a couple of wooden spoons? Um, or maybe a couple of sticks? We're going to use these as rhythm sticks and tap them together today. All right, go grab your spoons and I'll meet you back here for some singing and some reading. Here we go. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands, let's have some fun. Everybody pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees, everybody pat your knees, let's have some fun. Everybody wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears. Everybody wiggle your ears, let's have some fun. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, now our song is done. Yay! All right, grab your spoons. So let's try tapping them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And stop. Good job. Let's try something a little bit different. We are going to tap out a cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Here we go. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha, cha, cha. Good job, guys. All right, let's do something tricky. Can you tap your sticks behind your back? Good job. Can you pretend that you have a drum on the floor in front of you and play your drum? Good job. All right, here's a couple more wonderful songs from Jaybrary. Um, it goes like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as nicely as we can. And stop. Good job. All right, let's do another one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as fast as we can. Fast. And stop. I'm sorry, I'm disturbing your peace, Jareth. All right, let's do another one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as slowly as we can. Slow, 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 stop. Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as loud as we can. And stop, good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as quietly as Good job, guys. All right, let's do a different rhythm stick song. Can you tick-tock your spoons back and forth like this? Good. Tick-tock, tick-tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh, my, it's a kitty. Show me your whiskers. Can you make whiskers out of your spoons? And what did Kitty Cat say? Meow. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a bunny. Show me your bunny ears. Good job. 
Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a walrus. Show me your walrus tusks. Good job. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's an alarm. Show me your antenna, your alien antenna. Good job. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a unicorn. Show me your unicorn horn. Good job, guys. All right, can you, we're going to pretend that we're rowing a boat with our spoons, okay? So I'm gonna paddle my boat with my spoons and we all know row, row, row your boat. And my folks who are story time regular, regulars know our version of it, um, which comes from Jaybury. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Good job. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeak. Row, row, row your boat gently down the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Roar! Good job, guys. All right. Can you tap your sticks fast? Can you tap them slow, slow, good. Can you tap them high, good. And can you tap them low? All right, guys, good job. Give yourselves a hand. Give your, uh, give your spoons back to your grown-up. And let's read our story. This is called I Am Perfectly Designed by Karamo Brown, Jason Rachel Brown, and illustrated by Anusha Syed. Let's read it. Have you ever seen pigeons? We have a lot of pigeons in Great Falls. Did you ever chase them? It's not very nice, but they do scatter, don't they? First there was you, Dad. Then there was me. And now there is us. That's right, now there is us. When you first saw me, you said, he is perfectly designed from his head to his toes. And I meant every word. Still do. When I was a baby, I looked just like you. Only I had no hair and you had lots. And now it's the opposite. So true. So true. Remember that? I had... Sorry. The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while we walked... The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while you walked me all over the city. Remember that? I had such a big baby head. Babies do have big heads, don't they? Indeed, but your big baby head was perfectly designed for you. When I was real little, I thought I could touch the moon. Do you remember that? We'd sit on the roof and reach for it. One day you'll be big enough to reach it yourself. Until then, it's perfectly fine to ask for help. Remember when we went to syrup and waffles for Halloween, Dad? Ha, I do, I do. That was awesome. I wonder what will be this year. Oh my goodness. When I run in the park and jump in the park, climb trees in the park, and pretend I am a statue in the park, 
You remind me that I'm perfectly designed to explore the world. You are, and you always will be. Doesn't that look nice? Sometimes, Dad, when I get mad or sad or confused, you wrap me in your arms. I like that. Me too, and I remind you that you are perfectly designed and wonderful, no matter how you're feeling. Dad, when I grow up and leave home, will you miss me? Yes, very much. Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? You know I will. Will you sit on the fire escape and feed the pigeons like we do in the summer? The pigeons and the sparrows. Have you guys seen these? It's a fire escape. It's like, it's like a set of stairs on the outside of a building. Will you remember our favorite movies? I'm sorry. Will you remember our favorite moves? I will, and I'll invent some new ones too. Look, they're dancing. Do you like to dance? Dad, will you always think of me? Always. You know what, Dad? What? I will always remember walking through the city and sitting on your shoulders. And maybe when you're older, and I'm taller, I can carry you on mine because we are perfectly designed for each other. That's right. And that's the end. Did you like that book? Is there somebody that you like going for walks with in the city? Did you, do you remember when they were having a picnic in the park? Where is that wonderful picture? There it is. I'm looking up at the clouds together. So it's going to keep getting warmer. Before long, it'll be spring. And we have a wonderful park system. So you can take advantage of that. Just You just kind of have to hang out with your own family and, and stay pretty far away from other people. But we can still get outside and enjoy those parks. And I hope that you do. We will see you soon, guys. We miss you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.